Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another exclusive tutorial, this time for Samsung Captivate. And we're going to be talking about how to load MyUI Beta 5 onto the Captivate. Now, as many of you know, MyUI is a really popular uh, source ROM uh, from a lot of other devices, and now I'm pleased to say that it actually is able to run on the Captivate. So, um, it's an awesome ROM. It runs on 2.3.3 Gingerbread. Uh, for the underground uh, source files and uh, so it's a great way to have gingerbread and a custom UI all in one. So to get this kicked off we first need to have uh, the stock JF6 loaded onto the phone. If you need to learn how to flash the stock ROM back to the phone click here. Once you have done that we'll verify this. Okay and we've got a clear JF6 2.1 update 1 that's the stock ROM. Um, a couple of prereqs. We need to make sure that this phone has three button capabilities to enter recovery mode. Now what I mean by that is can you power off the phone and hold volume down, volume up, and power until you see the AT&T logo release and does your phone go into recovery mode? If it does, you have three button combo. If it doesn't, you don't. You can add three button combo though. Watch my video for three button combo there. So go ahead and take care of those prereqs and we'll catch up in just a sec after you've done that. Okay, once we have verified our prerequisites and gotten our phone back to stock with three button combo, go ahead and click the XDA developers thread in the link in the description below and download these files. You'll need to download this first three files followed by the Signaros package which is pre-installed with a modem. That way we don't have to flash a modem when we're done with this. So go ahead and download the first one, the second one, and the third one. The first one is the EFS backup tool. The next two are the kernel for Synergy Mod, which also runs on my UI, and the speed mod kernel to give us Clockwork Mod update to allow us to flash the EFS backup.zip. And obviously the last one is the actual ROM itself. Once you have downloaded those, put them onto the phone before we start. Obviously you can see under our files we already have these. There's the EFS backup, and the ROM. The only two you need to add are the EFS backup.zip and the MyUI cap beta 5.zip. The other two will be flashed from the computer. Now before we start also we need to go ahead and download the Odin file which can be found in the link in the description below under Odin file and uh, that's going to be the tool we're going to flash these kernels with. So go ahead and get those files onto the phone and power the device off. Obviously back up any files that you're going to need uh, because this could all go wrong and you may have to reflash. So basically don't do this unless you can't live without something uh, unless you can live without it. And uh, if you can't, back up, back up all your applications with Titanium Backup, uh, text messages, pictures, all that stuff. So, Okay, the phone is powered off. At this point we need to enter download mode. Now you can do this uh, with some of the conventional methods such as volume down, volume up, and plugging the USB cable in. Uh, you can use ADB tools, I've got videos for all that, or you can use a jig. This is only $8 shipped nationwide for free. You can find that in the description below. And this jig will allow you to access download mode very easily. So put your phone into download mode. Once it's in download mode, you can plug the device into the PC. Be sure that your phone has at least 50% battery life as well as your laptop if you're using a laptop, make sure it's plugged in or whatever computer you're flashing from, make sure it's plugged in. You don't want this to die in the middle. And double click Odin. Odin will launch. It looks like this. If you've never used it, welcome to Odin. And we'll see a COM port. That means that it sees our phone in download mode. Now we need to flash the speed mod kernel. So click PDA and go out to wherever you keep, wherever you downloaded it to. For us, we downloaded it under downloads and flash the speedmon kernel i897 so double click it it'll load the info over here and once it loads that we can uncheck auto reboot because this we're just going to allow this to finish and we're going to do a battery pool so we're going to say start that's going to start you'll see a progress bar up top as well as on the phone and it's going to reset and say pass at the top left of odin it'll look just like that whenever you're done. From here we'll unplug the device, do a battery pull as we just flash the speed mod kernel and we're going to put everything back in and 
And this time we're going to power the phone on in recovery mode. So hold volume down, volume up, and power until we see the AT&T screen. And then release after you see that. Now it's going to go into recovery mode, which obviously is clockwork mod because this is the speed mod kernel. All right, there's our recovery mode. From here, we need to install zip from SD card. We want to choose zip from SD card. And then we want to install the Captivate EFS backup.zip. Press power to select. This is going to backup our EFS folder, which contains useful product information as well as our IMEI. So it's done. It's backed up the folder to the local SD card, the internal one. From here, we want to do another battery pull, and we need to get back into download mode to flash the Cyanogen mod kernel. So we've got our second battery pull. Put it back into download mode using whatever way you want. The jig is awesome. Just got to say it. And plug the phone back in. It'll pick it back up. You'll get a COM port again. Now we'll flash Cyanogen Mod 7 kernel. That's vibrant. We'll pick Captivate. So I will double click and say start. It'll flash the kernel. It'll say reset and pass when it's done on the computer. We'll do one more battery pull. And now we'll enter recovery mode to flash the MyUI ROM. So volume down, volume up, hold power until you see the AT&T screen. Release all three once you do. We'll see that for a split second. And then from here, we want to wipe the cache partition. And we want to go into advanced and wipe the Dalvik cache. If it says no, don't worry about it. And then now we want to install zip from SD card. We'll choose the zip and we'll go down to my UI cap b5.zip. Press power to select and say yes. And we'll set this down and do a speed up for you guys. And we'll catch up with you guys in just a second. Okay, once it's completed, you'll see some things like flashing kernel, flashing radio image, and restoring EFS. And so now we'll say go back and reboot system now. And we'll do a speed up. First boot may take a while to get back into my UI, but we'll show you that. So just be patient, and we'll catch up with you guys as soon as the OS boots up. Okay, our device is booted up, and obviously this is a beta, so it automatically thinks that we're sideways. But uh, we're going to go ahead and touch Android to begin. You can set your language if you'd like. We're going to need to set optional languages in the end here to make sure that we can see all English. Uh, we're going to skip as much as we can. And ah, screw it, we're probably going to have to log in here. So we're going to set our language to United States. We'll say done. We'll tap the Android. We'll do begin, next. It knows we have a SIM card, so it's going to ask for this. So let me input my info for this real quick. Okay, we are signing in. And in just a moment, I'll show you some quick things here. So we'll say yeah, location is fine. Uh, no need to back up my data. I don't need this bogging my phone down right now. So finish setup and it's going to rotate back over. I'm going to pull down and turn off auto rotate for simplicity's sake. You'll notice to begin with that a lot of things may be in Chinese or they may be perfect in English like they are here. I've noticed if you don't start this with an SD card, uh, you'll end up with Chinese. Whereas if you do, uh, it normally reverts correctly. If it doesn't for some reason, You'll just need to go in your settings options, and this is going to be in Chinese, so it's going to be tricky. Uh, go into settings, 
and you'll need to choose system which will be the third tab over in Chinese and you'll need to go down to this one and it'll have the icon it looks like a keyboard press that then you'll press select language and you'll choose United States or whatever wherever you're at <laughs> that's an assumption um, and then you're done and then from there everything should revert back to English for the most part you may still see some Chinese here and there but for the most part such as our menus here and icons but for the most part it's good to go so this is my UI beta 5 now stay tuned later on I'm gonna do a ROM review about this so you guys can get an idea if you like it or not it's really cool though um, just some brief teasers. Everything works correctly. If I wanted to do uh, one eight hundred free four one one, the voice calling works correctly. When you make that first phone call, it's going to blank the screen out, and it takes a second for the screen to come on. I can already hear her in the background, so I had the power on a few times here, and I noticed that eventually, after pressing some volume and some things like that, it'll kick back on, like it did right there for a split second. But it's really tough to get it going. Um, but the point is, the voice call works correctly. So you'll have some trouble getting that going to start with. There it was. Uh, but after everything's said and done, it'll be good to go. So that's how you flash My UI Beta 5. Um, there's our phone call there. And it looks really nice. Uh, it's a beta though, so it's still in progress, but it runs on Android 2.3.3. You can find more info as well as the original developers in the i9000 thread that's linked inside of the thread uh, for the Captivate. Um, and you can find more information like that. So if you wanted to see the about phone info, I'll show you guys that real quick. It's uh, my UI 5, and it's 2.3.3, which is gingerbread. So this is a gingerbread-based ROM. We're really excited to see stuff like this. But uh, everything works pretty well on it once you get all the, the little kinks worked out. few bugs, but definitely something to play with. It's really cool. So that's my UI Beta 5. It's available now for Captivate. Check it out. Be sure to donate to the original developers. They put in lots of hard work on this ROM, and uh, it's really cool. So it's great to see it make its way to the Captivate. So... I've been really busy in the Vibrant community lately uh, with all the new FFCs, but um, I'm glad to get back on schedule here and give you guys another video. So, Also, if you need to pick up one of these jigs, they're still just 8 bucks, free shipping anywhere in the United States of America, international shipping available for just a couple bucks more, and uh, you can get one of these jigs and it makes life super simple. So that's the download mode jig for Galaxy S phones. You can find that in the description in the on the link below. So check that out as well. So anyways, my UI Beta 5 instructional video. Stay tuned for the ROM review, which will be coming out in the next few days to see if you really want to try this out. But that's how you do it. Very similar to CyanogenMod 7. We also appreciate the CyanogenMod crew for creating a kernel that happens to work for this. They didn't intend for that, and this is not supported by them. So it's uh, purely uh, experimental. So just uh, just have fun with it, and if you're ready to flash my UI Beta 5, good luck.